So now we're back in Nuke. There are a couple of ways we can actually fix this to improve the render. We could, in fact, improve the denoise amount. Now you can increase this to adjust the overall amount of the noise or grain that is removed and increasing this value to remove more noise. However, this is a very crude way of actually denoising the actual footage itself and you can actually lose a lot of the image quality. So if we include this to 2 and just wait for the algorithm to catch up, you can see it's denoised a lot of the amount, however we've lost a lot of the detail of the hair area. So if we set this back to the default amount, just by holding down the command key and clicking on the bar itself, it goes back to 1. Give it a second to catch up. What we need to do is actually go into the advanced settings of Nuke, and then we have the individual color channels. And we can remove the actual noise and grain from the individual red, green, and blue channels. Now, often the blue channel will contain more of the grain than the red and the green. This can easily be checked by viewing the individual color channels. If you go onto the viewer and hit R, you can view the red channel. As you can see there is quite a bit of noise in that channel. View the green. Actually quite good. There isn't much noise in the green channel. And if you check the blue channel, you can see on this occasion there isn't much actual noise and grain in this. The channel with the most grain and noise is actually the red channel. So now we know that a lot of the noise and the grain is actually existing in the red channel rather than the actual green and the blue. So what we need to do now is actually increase the process to remove the actual noise from the red channel. So we'll just go to 1.7 for time being and just check exactly what it removes. Now if we just maximize the screen itself, we can see it's removed quite a lot of the grain. If we just increase this to say 2, 2.1, like that going to catch up for a second. You can see we removed a lot more of the grain, however we're losing detail in the hair. So what we need to do now is just tweak this and adjust it down. Try 1.65. To this. You can see we've removed a lot more of the grain. Now if we go into the green channel and just reduce this slightly. If there isn't much grain in there. We don't want to be taking away a lot of the detail. Because we've already increased the red amount, we've lost a little bit of the detail in the red, and we just need to add it back in or dial it back in using the green and the blue amounts. So if you go into the blue channel now, you can see there isn't much actual noise in there. So if we reduce this to the same amount as the green channel, we can bring back the detail that we have slightly lost in the red using the green and the blue. So if we go back to color mode now, we can actually see we have improved the actual denoise itself and we've kept a lot of the detail on the original features of the face area and the hair and the skin. Now another thing that we can actually do to actually improve results is apply the suppress ringing option. Now when suppress ringing is turned on the plugin will do two separate denoise passes over the image. The second pass is designed to give good results in the regions where the spurious ringing tends to appear in the first pass. So the two resulting images can then be recombined in such a way as to reduce these artifacts. Now as the node is doing two separate passes, having this turned on will increase render times. Only use the suppress ringing option if you see ringing occurring. So now we are happy with the actual denoising process. We can actually look at the output and see the actual noise that we've actually taken away. So we just click the noise amount. Here you can see the impression of the noise on the actual image and the characteristics it brings out. Now bear in mind this is actually exaggerated by 10. Just amplified to make it easier for us to view what is taken away. Now it's important not to take away too much of the grain as this will take away a lot of the detail and produce a lot of blurring around the edges. Uh, this is not as exactly you want. You want to keep as much of the detail as possible and reduce as much of the noise and grain as possible in the image. So let's go back to the actual result itself. And now we've done this and we're happy with the results we've taken place in a single image. We have to render this process out and view the results. So I'll go ahead and produce the render of this and we can see the exact results of performing these changes in the calculations. If we play through the actual results now, we can see 
that by adding the actual individual changes to the red, green and the blue channels we have improved the denoise results. If we compare the two and up we can see the difference between the two. Here on the left we have the original sequence with the noise still on there and here on the right we have the actual denoised clip that we have just completed ourselves. Now looking at the two side by side you can see the difference is very very apparent. You can see the amount of noise that has been removed and the amount of grain that has been removed from the original sequence to perform the denoise clip here on the right hand side. For more information on some of the parameters that are not covered within this tutorial, please refer back to the Furnace Core Manual.